and it's um, untrue. Do you know anything it, about uh, claims the Republican movement dealt with alleged cases of sexual abuse? The claims, the claims by Michal Martin are a new law. They're unfounded and they're untrue. And I've made that statement very clear. And it's a new law for him to throw cheap political shots at Sinn Féin and using the case of a victim of sexual abuse to do that. And I think he should, you know, he called it very, very wrong. Uh, and he should really reflect with, on what he with did. With respect, that's not answering the question. I said it's unfounded and untrue. So you don't know of any... It's unfounded and untrue. It's, it's as clear as I can make okay. it. The claims by Michal Martin are unfounded and untrue, and they're disgraceful, and it is a new law. And if he has any information, then he should bring it to the Gardaí in relation to the comments that he made here yesterday on the plane. And in the last few days, um, from the Spotlight programme aired, I think we're looking at a hugely significant number of victims. And I think this is a huge issue for the South because um, it is quite apparent now that there was a pattern of behaviour on behalf of um, the IRA and Sinn Féin because what I am seeing now and what journalists are seeing because they are contacting me today to say that victims have been in touch with them and that they are now corroborating stories um, across the board. Perpetrators in the North um, were accused of abuse and the IRA um, clamped down. Um, and they moved the perpetrators out of the jurisdiction so that they couldn't face the full rigours of the law and victims had no idea where these people were moved to. And in some cases they were shot, which was wrong. Um, the IRA had no business involving themselves in it. But I think the crucial point about it is, at the minute in Ireland, North and South, there are people who have been alleged to have committed serious crimes of sexual abuse who potentially have access to other children, and those children are at great risk. And Sinn Féin knows this information. They have refused to cooperate with the police on it, and they haven't brought the information forward. And I'm appealing to members of Sinn Féin who know, without a shadow of a doubt, that this has happened, to soul search, to come forward, to say that it happened, to bring the information forward, because that is the only way we are going to be able to protect children on this island. Well, we know now from the response over the last couple of days, and I actually know just in the last half hour, I have had two more victims in similar situations contact me. And I do want to deal with this, Jonathan, because I'm going to give Jerry Adams another opportunity to come clean on this issue. I um, have live witnesses to my account, and um, Jerry Adams, as I have previously said, um, refers to two people who are dead now who can't back his account up. Um, but I do have um, knowledge of other cases, and I have other ca knowledge of other cases of abuse um, by senior IRA figures. And I think before it gets to the ugly stage where there is going to be another trickling effect of victims who are going to come forward to tell their stories, and another um, uh, and other people um, who can, with first-hand knowledge, back up accounts um, right throughout the years in relation to this issue. I mean, we had an SDLP MLA yesterday who went on record to say that he was aware of other cases in the Derry area in relation to internal IRA investigations of abuse. And I'm also aware of those cases, and I have spoken to victims of those cases and other senior Republicans, not only in that area, but also in Belfast and throughout the island of Ireland, who have contacted me, um, particularly after the Spotlight programme. And I'm giving Sinn Féin an opportunity to come clean on the issue before those people start to come forward. Mary, I have to I have to pick you up yeah. on something there because you told me at the start of this question that you can't say how many were expelled to the south, and then yeah. as a way of explaining Jerry's behaviour, you say this was known, this was published. It was published. So, so how public. many how many were moved to, expelled to Chris, the south? Chris, Chris, are, are you trying to get light here or heat? I'm saying to you that when these things happened and when these punishments in inverted commas were meted out, there was no secrecy within the community about it. People knew, and the IRA's data. What about the communities they, they landed in, Mary Lou? What about so, the communities it, okay, they landed so in?